hello guys welcome 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 to my channel and thank you so much for clicking this video please if you've not subscribed kindly subscribe to my channel and like the video and if you have a question feel free to write it down so guys today i'm going to share to you how hard and how easy to find a job or to get a job in uh, let's say in german because that's where i am so finding a job in german depends the kind of job you want what you want to do yeah the field of your interest there are some jobs that are very very easy to get and there are jobs which are very hard hard to get for example if you want to work in a uh, this uh, Altenheim, the how do we call taking care of the old people? There are those organizations you find that it's very easy, especially for the outsiders, to get a job in those. You find inside one thing I have realized since I have been here, I'm not so long in German, but one thing I have realized the people who are born here, so the owners of the country they they are choosy there are jobs that they don't do mm? and that's why you see like in german there is a lot of vacancies in some fields they are they are looking for people to fill these vacancies because like in old houses as well taking care of this uh, the old people you find if you go there you find most of the people are outsiders. They are not from here. The Germans themselves, they want the, this, you know, the office jobs and so on. Or you understand, yeah? And also go to like the, uh, the restaurants, go to like these drying uh, shops, dry clean uh, shops. Uh, these hard hard jobs this blue is it blue collar jobs yeah blue collar jobs you find most of the people who are in this uh, space are only outsiders so it uh, it's easy to find these kind of jobs because no people or them themselves they are not into them but now when it comes now to looking for the white collar jobs you struggle you struggle myself when i came to german it did not take me in fact i got i went <laughs> to ask for a job of course it's a blue one <laughs> i went to ask for a job in fact i just walked in the shop and i asked the lady the owner and the next minute i was employed it did not take me there was no struggling but now being there now i know and i realize why themselves they don't want to work these kind of jobs they are honest of the jobs but it's hard to find workers from here so the people like where i'm working the boss is the german but my fellow co-workers are all not from here so you find yeah and the work is not so easy you require patience i think we as um outsiders are more patient patient because where we come from you find that we go through a lot or maybe we are not so choosy and that's why we are able to tolerate everything it's not easy it's not easy but it's patience and the way we have that belief uh, coming like i would say when i was traveling when i was thinking now I want to go to somewhere, I want to leave my country and try my luck somewhere else. You have so much dreams inside your head. 
you have so much imaginations you have hey god when you you are like when i get there i will do this i will do that i will do this and you come and now you face the reality i don't know why i'm sharing this you know my my government my president was talking about as a kenyan president talking and being so proud of how he has made um, connections for the kenyans to travel outside the country to come and work like we are creating jobs outside the country people can come to german and work people can go to in fact he should be even ashamed of himself being so proud and talking yeah we are struggling first a half of the salary there is a lot of deductions you are deducted until if you convert this money to your to the kenyan shillings it's a lot of money with that amount you just stay in kenya without struggling as well. it's it's a lot of money and instead of him creating jobs in kenya trying to see how kenyans are going to stay in their country without problem getting jobs and so on is there proudly talking about <sighs> guys first when you come here and let's say you come here and through job that means you have to look for a place to stay the accommodation itself it's very expensive the houses the rents they are tough you need transport you need to eat you need this you need that and here it's not like in our country where i have a neighbor, a neighbor i can go to the neighbor to my neighbor and maybe say hey i don't have salt or i don't have can you help me with something it's not like here yeah, it's you and you 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 yourself if you're planning to come here you better plan well i'm not saying that you should not come try your luck the money is good when you convert it into kenyan shillings it's good but you cannot use your kenyan shillings here <laughs> hey, so guys the struggle is really here we are just being patient and trusting in god because with him everything is possible we just trust and believe in him i know god's time is always the best but it's good always to be truthful to say this is how it is and not this the way we see it the way we believe it that's why we say never ever trust what you see online yeah so guys that's all for today the struggle is really and we are just being patient and trying to survive